Today, I'm going to be hunted across London by two of the most notorious hitmen. Recently, I was in prison for trying to expose the truth behind KSI's bandana. However, I was able to escape using my razor sharp wit and sheer strength. But little did I know that a hit was placed on me by Mr. Knowledge himself. Chip! Chip, chip, chip. You know too much, bro. <laughs> Why are you trying to look under my bandana, huh? You think you can do this to me? Well, wait and see, bro, because I have hired the two most dangerous hitmen of all mankind. I have just three hours to find my way to the extraction point, or the truth will never see the light of day. <laughs> Top Assisting my escape is an unidentified mole who has left a number of intel drops across London to help me reach the extraction point. All right, boys, there is a bag in this park with the key to those handcuffs. Say that again. Hey! hey. We'll bag, bag, bag. Not a parachute. I say I'll see you soon, boys, but you'll never catch me. See you later, suckers. Still run it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bit tired already. Clearly, I didn't invest in the most robust handcuffs as the hitmen immediately broke out of them without the use of a key. <laughs> I'm a master of escape. Disaster start already. You never used handcuffs before in bed? Oh, only fluffy ones. They've already escaped the rope. I've just seen them escape the rope. Oh, there's a bag. They've got to find the bag and I've hidden it extremely well. Oh, how did we find that? Oh! We've got a gun. Not about the size, it's about how you use no, it. it. Very good. Very nice. Your mission is simple. Eliminate Chippo crimes. We have also allegated you with a private investigator to assist in catching Chippo before he escapes the country. The country? The country? There's a lot of people looking at me. I'm an escaped convict and also I can't wait to get out of this house. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That right there is a guy that's on multiple lists. Highly dangerous and will do anything for the next big hit. Keep away from your family if you can for your mother. Two grand. Oh my God, two grand. Two thousand pounds. As the hitmen were getting to grips with their contract, I had managed to pull away. So I've just managed to escape the park. I've got moles that are working in the government, helping me expose this whole thing and helping me to escape. I've been told to listen out for a phone call. I think that's it. The phone box is ringing. It's got to be for me. I'm in. It's ringing again. Hello? One of me keeps a doctor away. Even me do treats finest at me. Behind the store, you'll find a park. Wander over to the oldest park. Thank you. I've got no idea. There's also this. All right, top secret. Ooh, very fancy. I love it. Here we go, lads. I've got a message. I suggest you start checking the park for clues. Wander over to the oldest bark. So it's a tree. Bark, tree. See, I'll put two and two together. Anyone here seen a small malnourished man in an orange jumpsuit? We've got a clue. We've intercepted a phone call for the escapee and he received a riddle, but only managed to get part of the riddle. One of me keeps the doctor away. A pill? It's a pharmacist, or a fruit, or a vegetable. Apple. Even something finest at bay. Behind the store, you'll find a... It's a store. Find a store, I find a park. If I find a park, I find the park. It all makes sense now. But what store is it? Well, it's obviously an apple. A pigeon behind the store? What's this plastic bag? I think we've definitely overthought this, mate. That is an old water bottle bag. This is not the day for this. I'm sweating. My time in prison. I have lost my fitness. You know what? I wonder if they've escaped yet. <laughs> Even Regent Street's finest. It's on Regent Street. One of me keeps the doctor awake. That's an apple. Behind the store, you'll find a park. I'm thinking Apple Store. Park behind the Apple Store. We think we've cracked the code. They're going to an Apple Store. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? An Apple Store. That's one of our PIs. It's called Big Steve. Is the ears on the ground. See you later, Steve. We are getting transport to next location. Transportation acquired. Next stop, Apple Store. Hello, my name is Jeff. Hello, my name is also Jeff. Whilst I searched for the elusive park, the hitmen were honing in on me, and I needed to hurry. That looks like it could be a park. I see a big tree. I'm thinking a park. I found the park. I have found the park. Wander over to the oldest park. So the oldest is going to be the biggest. Cycling with poo in my basket. How far away from the target? The next stop. Five minutes, sir. Coffee, are you with me? Coffee, I'm getting done. Hey, hey, hey. As I got closer to the second intel drop, I was completely oblivious to the fact that the PI was hot on my tail, feeding info to the hitmen. I found the bag. We have a black box and another note. A key is your next item. Not in a circle but a square. Shallow waters give you freedom, but first your appearance you must repair. Changing my outfit, that's, it's gotta be what it is. The escapee has just received a duffel bag filled with a locked box, money and clues to his next drop. Got a picture, the tree 
near Regent Street Apple Store. Oh. You want some money? How much have they given me? Got 30 quid. I'll take that. So I can get out of this stupid orange jumpsuit. Now it was time for me to get out of the park, but it wasn't long before the hitmen made an appearance. Okay, lads, we've found the area. I've used the photo from the PI and our London knowledge. That's definitely the tree, isn't it? Oh my, this is Arkham Asylum wristband. Hello. Have you seen a man in an orange jumpsuit recently whilst you've been having lunch? Okay. Time for my balls. Time. No. Did you see a guy in an orange jumpsuit previously? Behind a tree? Okay. Have a nice day. H&M is perfect. It's cheap. It's cheerful. I need a t-shirt. What about this t-shirt? 13 quid. I'm not paying 13 quid. Five, five pounds. Five pounds. That is a t-shirt. It's going to have to do the job really, isn't it? We've had a stinker, lads. The bag's not here. I've just had intelligence from our PI. If you look closely, he's wearing the bag still. The bag is still on. He's outside of H&M, which looks like it's on Oxford Circus. Walking distance, that. Eh? Is it? Five minute walk. Right, off we trot. Farts. Not really a disguise though. If anything, it's just as bright as the orange. I do fancy a Starbucks, but I feel like we're quite close. Yeah, no coffee when you're trying to hunt down a prisoner. There's actually no shots in this shop. I don't have time to go to another shop. I'm gonna have to get the yellow shots. We've spotted H&M, which means we've got to be minutes away from him. Can you smell that? Yeah, it smells like <laughs> No, it smells like Chipper Crimes. Oh yeah. I'm in the fit room. I think they're close by, but I'll go get changed quickly. Mate, he has to be nearby. This looks horrific. He's got to be round it. Got my outfit. At least it's not bright orange. But boy, my outfit would have been so much better if I had these jewelry pieces from Crafted. I get at least 7,000 messages a day from you guys asking me why I look so good. Where do I get my jewelry from? And can I get it for a good price? The answer is. Si tu puedes. Now, Crafted is a no small time gig. They're the big dogs, the market leader. In fact, they're the biggest online jewelry brand. And even you can become one of the 1.5 million Crafted members. So don't dilly around because these pieces are crafted to last. They're sweat proof, heat proof, waterproof. And you won't have to worry about that pesky old green neck. And there's a lifetime guarantee. So if anything happens to your Crafted pieces, they'll replace for free. Lifetime guarantee, you say? Absolutely, young Timmy. And I'm serious when I say they're crafted to last. 40 years later, my crafted pieces are still kicking. It's a shame I won't be for much longer. Pass this down to little Timmy, will you? So what are you waiting for? Head over to the link in the description and use the code CHIP at checkout and you'll get a whopping 15% off. That's right, you heard me. 15% off. We are here, but he's not here. Our sources should say he's in this area. Where though? He is not in a circle, but a square, and I think I know. Where would an escaped combo? Yeah. Trafalgar Square. It's the only square I know. So if it ain't there, well then I'm screwed. He's been spotted in a change of clothes. He's found a different outfit. Oh no. Oh, he's definitely here. He's right yeah. here. He's here somewhere. I've just taken an extreme L. I was going to use a bike to get there. Look for a line bike. Look for a line bike. Flat tire. I've been looking for a bike for five minutes. We're in trouble. With the hitmen less than 50 meters away, I had to find an escape route and quickly. There's a line bike. Where? Next to Top Shop. Need a change of clothes. Both teams had the same idea, and the hitmen were now on the opposite side of the road from me. Found myself a bike. Well, I gotta get going. Yep, yeah, this is it. It's got a flat tire as well. Nice. Flat tire. Flat tire. I just about got away by the skin of my teeth, but the hitmen were still in pursuit, and uh, I wasn't exactly breaking the sound barrier. I'm on my own with the yellow diamond Minecraft boxer shorts on. Found the bike. We're actually very good at this game, but where is he? I don't know. And our PI is being crap. Oh, I've definitely taken my bike onto a place that you can't ride your bike. Never rely on PIs. They always let you down. I feel like, I feel like he knows where we are. I do feel like I'm being watched. Yeah. Problem is, my shorts keep falling down. <sighs> I know we're close. I need water. Mate, I can smell him in the yeah. I know. We've got to keep going. Oh, a pub. Would it be wrong to stop for a cheeky little pint? Bit of water, and my God will I be back and ready to kick his ass. I think they ran someone over. <laughs> got quite a kick out of it. The escapee has been spotted near the South African High Commission Embassy. Head there as fast as you can. Okay, bro. South Africa is by Trafalgar Square. These London drivers are fucking maniacs. Somebody's going to kill me before the hitmen do. Able to go to Trafalgar Square, please? Jesus Christ. Imbeciles everywhere. Just like that, we're in a cab. And we're going straight to Trafalgar Square. Gonna try and catch a little shrimp next door. <laughs> Chip and crumbs. Trafalgar Square. Yes, I see it. That looked like yours. That did look. Good. Imagine I get there and they're there. Hopefully not. Keep your eyes out, mate. Keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes big. Trafalgar Square is pretty big, though. This is Trafalgar Square. Keep an eye out for yellow shorts. <sighs> Trafalgar Square, baby. I think the key is here. I'm certain of it. In shallow waters, you will find freedom. But I can't get to the fountain. Is there a fountain I can get to? Accessible fountain? Could be anywhere. I think I've got it. Drinking fountain. <sighs> no, it's not looking great. I thought for a second there that was a good shout. <gasps> I'm 
fucking genius. Okay, so I got the key. I did it. Pen, phone, and a note. There's nothing in here. Now what? The escapee has received a phone from the locked box, but it's still in the area. What's he gonna do that? Call a dealer? I've got a text message. I'm on the streets of London Bridge. Find me and I can secure your escape. It's now time to meet them all. But I gotta get there before the hitmen get to me. What I didn't know was that the third drop had been compromised with a tracker. And now the hitmen had access to my location. Okay, so our PI has managed to place a tracker in the last drop location. Let's go find him. Come on, boy. We're so close. We're actually so close. We're extremely close right now to exposing the truth of what's really behind chaos. Size bandana. Oh my god. Hang on. The PI's been in touch. Oh, I'll have a day off. I'll actually have a day off. We have information. He is heading to North Greenwich. Suggest you get a taxi to try and overtake him and catch him. Oh, this PI is getting sacked. Mate, it says he's here. I reckon our PI has gone yeah. back able here. She could be working for him. They've definitely left an air tag here or something, haven't they? Wait, hang on, it's here. We're on it. Going to London Bridge. I'm going to use the spare money I had from the close to get in this taxi. We're on top of him. Quite literally, and I know what it feels. What was in that oh taxi? My god. They left it in the bin. I don't know. We're looking for like a guy in a hat and yellow shorts. We need to narrow it down more. There's about 1,600 of them. That taxi, there's a taxi that's just left. It's moved. It's moved. The air tag has moved. I've got a feeling that the hitmen were pretty close to me there at some point. I had a couple of obstacles. Couldn't find shorts. Couldn't find a bike. That didn't have a flat tire. Almost hit somebody on the bike. Almost got hit by somebody on the bike. This is the price that you have to pay for knowing too much. Mate, they're over here. Careful, Jake. <laughs> oh, it's moved again. We've made it to London Bridge. Got to look out for my uh, my contact. Not sure what he looks like, who he is. Well, they're on the underground then. If it's shown up here and then it's just appeared there, it's got a signal on these locations. Oh, gosh, you are. Look, you're not sweating with that bold cap on. Yeah, and are you not? Hiding in plain sight. Thought we had him. I smelled him in the air. That stench of chipper crimes, but turns out he's like another three miles away, so. So I'm at London Bridge. I'm gonna call my contacts and see exactly where he is. Hello, are you the man picking me up? What street are you on? Okay, I'll be right there. He said he's in Tula Street next to Kareem's in a black Mercedes. Sounded an awful lot like Ben Morris. I think this is our guy. Ben Morris. Hello. I knew it was Ben Morris. We've spotted the escapee getting into a blacked out Mercedes S-Class with an unidentified person on London Bridge. They're going towards Southeast, which means he can't be taking a helicopter out of the country. We get to North Greenwich, head to the docks, and he'll go on the boat and we intercept him when he arrives. Yeah. Pin him. We'll pin him down. What? And take his clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> and then take our clothes off. Seatbelt, safety first. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Now, whilst I got acquainted with my government mole, the hitmen were making scary progress on the London Underground. Back in the car, I was handed the best disguise money could ever buy for under £20. I'm German and my name is Frederick Spurnberg. That's me. With London traffic slowing down my escape, the hitmen had beaten me to North Greenwich. It was definitely not here. Wait, hang on a minute. We've got a tracker. Give me the fucking tracker now. We have found out your last drop was compromised with a tracking device. You're telling me they know where I am right now. And an air tag. What do I do with the air tag then? Out the window. That's literally. That was extremely illegal. The tracker was now gone, and the trail had gone cold for the hitmen, who were still awaiting my arrival at North Greenwich. We'll update you with more information than I have, some Sick. With potential KSI informants everywhere, the mole wrote down a next riddle for my eyes only. I can only take you this far. Why don't you go flying in a car? Your final vessel does await. Make it there to seal your fate. You weren't meant to read that out loud. This is as far as I can take you. Okay, thank you, sir. Good luck. I'll blow the lid off this whole thing. We have found a booking under Ben Dover Brilliant. for a boat. Maybe they are on a boat. Maybe we need to, mate, we need to head to the piers. ASAP Rocky. Why don't you go flying in a car? I'm pretty sure I know what that is, and it is the cable cars. Pause, because we just had more intel. Young Chippo Crimes is heading to the Docklands. And you know how we get there, don't we? Go on. We go up into the sky and we fly across. Take a plane. No, no, we're going to get a cable car. Oh, and we're going to intercept car. him on the other side of the river. I have no idea where the hitmen are. They could be close by. I could have left them in the complete dust. And with this disguise, I don't think I'll get swatted. We're coming for you, little Joshua. We're going to catch this little rat. Very high up, don't do it. I'm slightly worried. I see a camera in that cable car. I see them in the cable car. Are you fucking serious? Oh my ah! god! Ah! Yes! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> that was them. They're going the wrong way. What is wrong with us? How is <laughs> PI? Legit. What are the chances of that? Wow! Wow!
They're not gonna catch me. No, on real though, like, what do we do? Let's just f***ing go wakeboarding at this point. They have to go the whole way round. He's he done it again, that dirty bastard! Anyways, we have intel now. Received. Do you want to know what it says? Yeah, it says this. Our PI is just confirming which pier we need to head to. It's either gonna be Greenwich Yacht Club or Greenwich Pier. Which one do we go for? Get me to the Yacht Club. And it's time for him to feel the wrath of your fat <laughs> There's gonna be a car picking me up in three minutes to take me to the extraction point, but those guys are gonna be coming back any moment now. No, he might be there already. You never know, we have to get there in time. We could just get those bikes on it. Follow Where we go? I think this is my Uber. Get me to that extraction point now. We're nearby. Let's go intercept him at the yacht club. We're so close to the extraction point. The end is finally upon us. Time was against me as I closed in on the pier. And with the hitmen closing in, every corner presented a potential threat. We're so close. I've got my secret identity. Here we have Greenwich Yacht Club. Location one out of two. I've made it to the extraction point. It is a boat. Don't see Reeve and Theo in sight unless they're gonna be here right hiding. I think I've made it. He's clearly not here, so we've gone to the wrong one. Just in time. Just in time. We cut it close. Theo and Reeve not in sight anywhere. They've sent us on a 50 50 and we've gone wrong again. I actually can't believe we've made it to the boat. It's looking like it's a wrap and Triple Crimes has gone away. Cheers. Budget cuts. You know how the government is. Guess I won't be needing this disguise anymore. Frederick Spurnberg takes it home. I wonder what Reeve and Theo are doing. Got, I've just got news that affirmative he escaped. We failed. Is that the end of the game? Surely not. PI's awful, you're fired. If it is the end, I may as well just go walk into the Thames. So now that we're on open water, I think it's safe to reveal the truth behind KSI's bandana. And the truth is that...